The Carolina Pro Football Report, presented by National POW. Support National POW at nationalpow.org. I wouldn't even call it the new me, but I'm big on energy. And that feeling on the sideline collectively as a team, starting with PJ to the offense going out there and, 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 and well, really the defense getting the turnover, that's, that's a combination of a great team win on the road. That was a great team that we played. I really should thank C-Mac and he going, you know, two times he got me down to the one yard line and I just ate the scraps. So. <laughs> yeah, it was a blast. It was a lot of fun, obviously. You know, the energy that he brings is, you know, unlike anyone I've ever met. So definitely good having him back. He's somebody that just, you know, puts his head down and goes to work every single day. Uh, always has a smile on his face, always is positive. And, you know, there was a lot of noise, you know, going around him. And um, it's just such a cool story in and of itself, you know, that, that he comes here and gets to start this week. And we beat a hell of a team uh, on the road. And, um, I was just really proud of him, and, and it was fun playing next to him today. You know, I feel like I got a lot of people's attention right now in the building, outside of the building. And, you know, I still got a long way to go. We all, as a team, we're 500 right now. We lost, we lost games that me going back and watching film that we should have won, you know. But yet, it's still, you know, like I said, keeping that microscope to the details and, 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 and making sure every opportunity that we get, we maximize on it. I think that what our O-line did today, too, was a massive statement, you know, and I want to give a shout out to them because they were under a lot of scrutiny. You know, there's a lot of noise talking about our O-line and, and, you know, disrespecting the way that those guys played, and they took that personally and um, went out there today and, and played a hell of a game. So, um, you know, we, they're, they're like the silent assassins, you know, they, they only get mentioned when something bad happens. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of strong guys who, you know, mentally and emotionally who can take all that criticism and continue to fight, you know, continue to work, you know, with, with guys down and injured and uh, step up and, and play a game like that and, and dominate like that was awesome. God is good. I could tell you that. And it was, it was something about the significance of today, all right? Not only the return, this is the last college game that I played. This was the stadium I played it at. This was the first NFL game I played at. And for me to come back, you know, it was it was somewhat. Oh, I mean, you can't. It's, it's crazy, you know. God works. God working in my life right now, and I ain't, I ain't hiding away from it. But I tell you this, in this morning's devotion, I was reading about Moses, and God spoke to Moses in the desert. Where were you at? Red you know what I'm saying? Come on. The National Police Athletic and Activities League help support the mission of kids, cops, and communities. NationalPal.org.